everyone knows the trials of Mana collaboration is incredibly late. Sure, better late than never, but do you know just how late? Five to six months! We thought it'd come out sometime between Lightning Fast Zidane and Charlotte. But, well, to be fair, I can't imagine collaborations to be a simple matter, so I'm just glad we can see this. We're getting Neovision-based forms of Ninja Master Hawkeye and Angela. Angela was supposed to be Neovision Awaken, but this is the first time we're seeing her, so that's how things ended up this way. They each have their own step-up banners for the safety net, and you have to go 42,000 lapis each. This is horrible news for me since I don't even have 42,000 lapis to spare! Thankfully, I'm not too interested in 6 months old units. Oh no, they're getting buffed! Hawkeye will stay as a physical damage dealer with a true brave shift, a super useful feature that Lightning Fast Zidane would've really wanted. Notably, his vision card gets upgraded, giving it boost to magic along with attack. This way, the vision card becomes relevant for magic units from Trials of Mana. And well, we've already got one right here. He also gets additional EX abilities as well. I don't think they'll give him anything new aside from the instant limit burst and more attack, but that's probably the pessimist in me hoping they don't make me feel any worse. His Super Trust Master reward is very, very simple, and it's all the more better for it. In short, it's Kingdom Heart 3 Sora Super Trust Master reward, but it has a different name. This means anyone who didn't get Sora before can now get a ridiculous Super Trust Master reward that will last far longer than the unit itself. An excellent deal given just how much I use Sora Super Trust Master reward. And if you already had Sora Super Trust Master reward, well now you can get a second. His Trust Master reward is a bit more standard. Still strong, but not to the level of that Super Trust Master reward. It's especially good for Hawkeye, but either way you still get a demon killer. With the sneak peek of the abilities, we see, yup, standard instant limit burst at EX plus 2, Shadow Slash, and on his Brave Shift, True Weapon Smack. Kind of a silly name, but I can dig it. Apparently got buffed. Now in Japan, True Weapon Smack inflicted a 87% defense break, and that was very strong. Here in Globo, 90% is the crown number, and while we do have sources of that, they're either on limited units or require too many master crowns. Either way, I'm expecting Hawkeye to hit 90% defense breaks. Hopefully that's the result from this buff. Angela got buffed too, oh no, help me. As a Neo Neo Vision unit, she has the distinct honor of coming with a Vision card. It's the same as Hawkeye's, but at least this means you don't have to chase Hawkeye for a card for Angela. Her Rose and Brave Shift duration haven't changed, though she has gotten additional EX abilities as well. Her Super Trust Master reward and Trust Master reward haven't been buffed. They're still very good, but the numbers just don't reach as high as you might hope. We can see from the sneak peek of the abilities that her base kit might get some significant buffs, as the upgraded cooldown ability actually affects the damage modifier of her other abilities. The second featured ability, Hotshot, also raises a few eyebrows. First, the only ability that it seems like it could be is kind of different. The Japanese version buffs her magic, spirit, and limit burst damage, but this one doesn't, in exchange for amplifying her fire damage and imbuing her with fire. Perhaps this means she'll turn into a physical attacker that deals magic damage, and with the number of elemental options she had, maybe we'll get something that really stands out. World of Visions. What? They're actually bringing that in! This is basically a farming event, but it's also Dark Visions, meaning every time you go back to farm, you have the opportunity to raise your rank. You could also think about it in the reverse order. It's Dark Visions, but you can go back to farm. To celebrate the arrival of World of Visions, they've revamped the rewards! First place player gets a whopping 200,000 lapis! To which I bitterly say, Rich get richer much? You can also see the prizes drop drastically in both quality and quantity as you scroll down and begin to accept your place in the world. If you try really hard, you might get the Trust Mugo. Either way, this isn't a one and done event, because you're going to want to get the new item so you can brag to the world that you have Skullhead. Most of the equipment here can be upgraded, which requires farming, but in return they do offer extremely useful effects that aren't on most other equipment of their kind. Double Hand Attack, Double Hand Magic, Dual Wielding Attack, Status Ailment Nullification of High Stats, an item for a unit that hasn't been released, meaning hooray, we'll see Reese as well! More Dual Wielding Attack, and lastly a Materia that gives a full 50% stat buff for units from Trials of Mana. The bonus units are all recent units, and here we've confirmed that Duran and Reese are arriving the week after. EX Coin Exchange Update! They're changing out the shop again, meaning if you wanted anyone's shards, you better get them before they're gone. Now they're bringing in a fresh set of fragments, though I'm sure the majority of you just plan to get another Transcension Pearl and additional relics. Either way, they're not bringing back VIP coins, so it's a good thing I converted them beforehand. 
Treasure summons for Hawkeye and Angela. Now you might have double the loss for double the cost. Ooh, a special login bonus. You can get an exchange coin for Trials of Mana, meaning on top of all these other awards, you could choose to trade it for unit fragments or even more awards. Summoning Exchange Shop. Let's see what Super Trustmaster rewards we've got here. Rakish Thief Zidane's Ultima Weapon. That can get upgraded further. Pretty good if you haven't gotten that already. And Black Mage Arc's Hat, which, well, isn't really as good. Fragment Login Bonus. I probably won't manage to get either unit, but the Transcension Pearl is nice. And lastly, our Autumn Celebration Livestream. It looks like we'll finally see news of Season 4. Hopefully they also introduce Neo Vision Awakened Blue Mage Fina and Neo Vision Awakened My Man Riser. They've also mentioned Black Friday, meaning maybe? Or more likely they've just released additional bundles for players to purchase. Regardless, depending on the number of viewers, the player base gets numerous one-tenths of a ticket. Wow, when you put it that way, it sounds horrible. Additionally, you might win a fabulous physical prize. Which sounds great, but come on. They would have announced the Riser and Wilhelm Dakimakuros for sale if they were actually going to release them. Either way, I can't afford this. Please send help.